Hello, welcome back to Blow Harvey's Vintage Toys. Um, this is just going to be a Patreon only video, I think. I might put it on YouTube a bit later. But uh, I just what I thought I might do today is just like an extra video. You just go through my uh, DVD collection. Um, I, I think I quickly went through it on one of my uh, room tours. But I thought I'd just uh, have a quick look. I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got them all over the place. And these, like, I found like a pound on the market. I've not even watched Jukes of Hazard season one, which is uh, just got three episodes on. Uh, Westworld season two. I've not even watched season three. The last two episodes of season three I need to watch. Um, these are the original versions of. Uh, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, and Revenge of the Sith, obviously. Revenge of the Sith is later, later on, it's not got the original, well, it's the original, but you know what I mean. The original cut of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and those are spare because I do have them uh, in a box set too. Uh, Clone Wars, the DVDs which I've put up here now because they're on, they're on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Original Clone Wars, Volume 1. Thunderbirds, another one I got for a pound, which I've not actually gone through and watched yet. Uh, Family Guy, I love Family Guy, I love Seth MacFarlane. I've got up to uh, Season 11, so I'm still collecting those. These are my uh, sport movie videos. I love American football, and these are my American football ones. Friday Night Lights. We Are Marshall, which is really good. Uh, the Longest Yard, that is the modern update. I'm trying to get hold of the original uh, Longest Yard. Uh, Leatherheads. Um, loosely based on American football. Blindside. Which is a fantastic book. The the film's really good as well, but the book is absolutely brilliant. True story. And I don't know if it actually still plays anymore. Uh, replacements, not a good film. Not a good film, but uh, American football related. Any given Sunday, one of the best American football videos you can find. And look at that cast as well. Look at that cast. Um, the Natural is the best sports film ever, ever created. If you've not watched The Natural, watch it. I have got that on uh, vinyl as well. The music is absolutely fantastic in that. It is. Um, again, it's got a really well-known cast in it. And it's just an absolutely fantastic movie. Even if you don't like baseball, it's just got a really good story to it. Uh, Star Trek 20, uh, 2009, a lot of people don't like it, I like it, Into Darkness I like as well, I don't like the ripping off of Khan, Star Trek 2, and I've got, I've actually got Star Trek Beyond and it's still, it's still sealed, <laughs> yeah, it's not a ba as bad a film as people actually say, but uh, there you go, there's my Star Wars original, one, two, and three. Solo. Rebels. Season two. So I'm I'm trying to find that as well. But again, that's on Disney Plus. I'm going through the Clone Wars. Watch through the Clone Wars. I'm going to start watching Rebels again as well. Here you go. The greatest film ever, ever made. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I, I hate to wear the call it Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark now. Why do they do that? It's it's Raiders of the Lost Ark. If anybody has got the original documentary for Raiders of, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, let me know, please. I know where I can find it because uh, I had it on VHS probably 1982 and I watched it over and over and over again and I cannot find it. Just, just the Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's an absolutely fantastic documentary. I loved it. So you got, I've got Temple of Doom, Last Crusade and uh, that one. 
Um, Superman, all the original Supermans. One, two, uh, three, uh, <laughs> and four, and four. Yeah, this four there as well. But um, yeah, again, less said about that the better. Man of Steel, um, it was okay. It was okay, put it that way. Power Begins. I've I've got some Blu-rays down here of uh, the other two of the trilogy. Batman, the best, the best Batman film ever. Batman eighty nine. I've got the two disc special, special edition. I would like if there's uh, another uh, Blu-ray version of that. I would love that. Batman Returns again. I have not got any other the other ones. Uh, two disc special edition because. Uh, those two are absolutely fantastic. I love the first one though. The first one is the best. Yeah, Batman is the best superhero movie ever made. Superman 2 was pretty good, but Batman definitely is the the best superhero movie. I'm going to go on to the the Marvel ones, which are really good, but as the, I think they're just like a big story, whereas Batman... It's just it brought back it brought it actually brought back the superhero movies I don't believe uh, Untouchables great film one of my gotta be in the top ten films of all time absolutely un unbelievable movie Highlander again gotta be up there these are all well packed in aren't they. I would like a maybe a special edition of Highlander. Yeah, I've got two, two and three there. Just, just cause, just because. There you go. The best Star Trek film ever. It really should be with the rest of the Star Trek. I know, but uh, it is the best by far Star Trek film ever. Um, this is the. Collector's edition. Again, it's got all the the uh, things that got cut out. A lot got cut out of that Star Trek too. Uh, especially the UK release with the earworm thing that got cut out. Um, I can remember watching it on ITV once, and they cut out the speech, the the thing where Kirk and I think it's Kirk and Spock. Uh, Kirk goes to Spock's room. And they're talking about uh, the needs of the many and all that, and then which is a big part of the whole of the film. And they cut it out, cut it out. Nemesis, we won't talk about that. Uh, uh, we've got X Men. I like X Men. I, I love Wolverine. I have, I've got probably got the, the one and two somewhere. Around here, I just don't know what I've got. Basically, <laughs> most of the time I don't know what I've bloody got. Uh, I've got a lot of the um, the Marvel movies because I just found them in charity shops for ninety nine p pound. But again, these are on Disney Plus now. But it's just nice to have a few, have them in physical form. I would like I would like all of them, obviously. It's Iron Man two. They've probably still got the, the price tags on them. But uh, 2 disc special edition that I got for 99p. There you go. Oxfam 99p. So you can't go right, what? A 2 disc special edition DVD? I know it's Iron Man 2, but it's, it, it, Black Widow comes out in that one, so that's probably why I've got that one. Uh, Age of Ultron, Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, Thor. The Ragnarok, brilliant film. I think it's the, probably the best of the lot of them. And uh, Infinity War. Austin Powers. <sighs> what can you say? What can you say about Austin Powers? Uh, the second one was the best one. But uh, I love them all. I love gold. Gold member. Day to Day. Fantastic series from the 90s. Oh, I saw before it's time. Um, Alan Partridge is in that. There you go, Steve Coogan. Amanda Iannucci. 
absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant it's uh if you've not seen that and you're a comedy fan you need to see that you need to see that so that is there with my all my partridges i haven't got four of them now knowing me knowing you the whole of the uh the sitcom tv show that he had with the um knowing you the christmas special one she's really funny I'm Alan Partridge, probably one of the best sitcoms. It's really underrated. I know a lot of people love it and know about it, but when it comes to like top top comedy sitcoms, that should be up there, definitely. And there's the movie, which you see, it's still wrapped. <laughs> I've not watched that. Vic Reeves, my favourite comedian. I love Vic Reeves. I've seen him. I've seen him and Bob, Vic and Bob got their autographs and everything like that. I've uh, got the books and everything. So the smell of Reeves Mortimer, Carrick. Carrick's a fantastic sitcom. Rick and Bob. That again, that's that went really under the radar. It was meant to be a movie. But again, watch you need to watch it if you're a Vic and Bob fan. You've probably seen it anyway. But there's a, there are a lot of people a lot of famous people in that too. There you go. Uh, Reese Shearsmith. Matt Lucas, Marina Wanks, Tim Healy. Mark Benton and Charlie Higson. And there's many more in that. You would love that. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And some other Ghostbusters film. I don't know what that is. Um, Bill Murray is one of my favourite actors. Grand Dog Day. There you go. Uh, Ghostbusters, probably my second favourite film of all time. No, third. Third favourite, sorry. Raise the Lost Ark is number one. That's number three. So what's number two? Sherlock. I love Sherlock. Love it. If do if only Doctor Who was more like that. Um, Holy Grail. The best comedy film of all time. Life of Brian. The Immaculate Collection edition. I can't remember uh, if I. Where I got that, to be honest with you. Probably, I might have got that at the charity shop. I got the only girl at the charity shop, I know that. There you go, £1.50. <laughs> and that's the deluxe edition. For £1.50. So get out to those charity shops, people. Men in a life is good, but not as good as the other two, obviously. Uh, the, there's a the complete box set of all the Monty Python TV series. Still going back onto comedy, it's still on to comedy. Um, Peter Kay, love Peter Kay. Max and Paddy. Um, Ricky Gervais, Derek. I love Derek. Series 1. Series 2 I am got because I'm not so keen on Series 2, but Series 1 with Carl Pilkington in is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Ricky Gervais live again there. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it is funny. Again, Frankie Boyle, not everybody's cup of tea, but very near knuckle, very, very funny. And Borat, what can I say? Everybody's got a copy of Borat. It's absolutely fantastic. Coming to America, another brilliant film, another brilliant comedy film. Oh, just some, some right lines in that. And it's got James Earl Jones in saying most of his Darth Vader lines in that. And it's got uh, young Samuel L. Jackson in it as well. High, High Fidelity is, uh, is his book based on uh, Nick Hornby's, uh, a film based on Nick Hornby's book, which is helped me through a few dark times, put it that way. Zombieland, love Zombieland. I've not even seen the second one yet. I need to see the second one. Uh, I've put that, I've put them in with comedies. Mm, yeah. I suppose Zombieland is a comedy. High Fidelity is kind of a drama comedy type thing it's it's good though it's good though it's a shame that uh, they change it from the uk setting to the american setting but it just does have bruce springsteen in it so there you go young ones yeah no uh, nothing i can say about young ones everybody loves young ones and bottom got all the bottoms father ted again i've not even opened father ted because it's on the tv all the time but i've got it there if i ever need it Love, love, love. 
If you've not watched Father Ted, I was going to do a video on Father Ted. I'm, I might do, might do that. Um, still security protect. Um, I didn't when when it first came on in the nineties. I didn't watch it because I thought, oh, so, so, it's religious. It's fat. Because I, I got confused with that other father, Jack. No, I can't remember what they call him. That was uh, the American series. <laughs> but then a friend at work said, "You need to watch it. It's absolutely brilliant." So start watching it, and obviously went back and watched all the other ones. It is probably one of the best sitcoms. It's not, you can't really call it a sitcom, even though it is. It is a sitcom, but oh, just the situations are so really ridiculous. And I just watch it over and over again. Kingsman, um, it's okay. It's okay. I've, I've, it's grown on me a bit more than it when I first watched it. Uh, a few James Bond films. I do want um, a Smile Love Me because I think that's probably one of the best. But I like I, I like Sean Connery best. Uh, some more Family Guy. These are the uh, the Star Wars parodies I've got on DVD. Um, going on to more Seth MacFarlane. We've got Ted. Now I haven't got Ted 2, I haven't got Ted 2 because I can never find that in the charity shop. Never can find that. So what what do we've got next to Ted? Obviously Flash Gordon. <laughs> oh, Flash Gordon. Oh, the best worst movie ever created. We've got to have Ted next to Flash Gordon. If you watched them both, you know why. Uh, Anchorman. Funny, funny. Will Ferrell has gone down. His movies aren't been that good recently, but Anchorman is probably the best one he's ever done. Team America. <sighs> I love South Park. I love South Park. I'm currently going through them all again. But uh, it's, it's just a real shame they're never going to make one of these again. Because it took them so long. There was so much hard work from They're not going to make another one. Hilarious. You need to watch that. Bad Camp Grandpa is so funny. Jackass. You can remember Jackass. Um, I remember going to see this in London. In the... Uh, uh, Leicester Square. Leicester Square. When we were down there for the NFL. Trading Places. Oh, fantastic film. Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. He's brilliant. Going on to Blues Brothers there. Two disc special edition Blues Brothers for 99p, obviously. Um, it was the 40th anniversary of Blues Brothers a couple of weeks ago, and um, I was going to get it out and start watching it, but it was on Netflix, so I just watched it on Netflix. So the, that's the thing about having all these Blu rays, it's nice to have physical copies, but it's just so easy nowadays. Just press a button and stream them. That's not Blues Brothers 2 because I don't think that exists. Or shouldn't exist. <laughs> that is the uh, the documentary and the live concerts. Again, 99B. It's a, it's a retrospective about Blues Brothers. Because they used to do concerts. As the Blues Brothers. Going on to Mel Brooks. Blazing Saddles. That would never get made now. I don't think any Mel Brooks would get made now. <laughs> but the, the thing is, they don't make these type of movies anymore. You've got Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Spaceballs, Police Squad, Naked Gun. Even something about Mary. They would not get made now. Not in a million years. Especially Blazing Saddles. <laughs> and they, they, they made a TV series as well. But Young Frankenstein's brilliant, brilliant. I don't know which I like. Uh, I think I think I prefer Young Frankenstein over Blaine's Saddles, but it's very close. And Spaceballs is just... Spaceballs. Police Squad is the naked gun when it was a TV series. I think they only made six episodes. But there's like, like people like William Shatner in it and things like that. And that is... Hilarious. There you go, six episodes. 
and then they, uh, they start making the movies. I've not got the first one. I've got two and three. Because we're getting the first one. Something about Mary, which is so brilliant comedy. Moulin Rouge. Again, with with Blues Brothers, they're both musicals, and Moulin Rouge means a lot to me. And just some some of the songs. It's got Ewan McGregor in it. It's absolutely brilliant. The songs a modern modern take on like from the uh, 19th century going into the 20th century in uh, in France obviously Bro Springsteen Homie Bro Springsteen David Dees love Bro Springsteen so these are my Blu-rays now again with Dark Knight Rises and the Dark Knight um, going on with with the uh, one I had earlier some more Captain America that is that is a good that is that is I think that it's probably, I don't know, that and Ragnarok are the two best ones. Uh, there's uh, the original Avengers. Captain Marvel, which I quite like. A lot of people, I like Brie Larson. Oh, I'm not going to shame but to say it. And there's Endgame. You've got to have Endgame. There you go, there's my second favourite movie of all time, Back to the Future. On that Blu-ray. Rogue One, Blu-ray. Force Awakens, these are, these are 3D, when you used to be able to play 3D on your TV and you can't anymore, it's weird. And The Last Jedi which is still sealed, because it is, <laughs> it's, um, it's on Disney Plus. It's not that I don't, I, I love The Last Jedi, I love them all. I haven't, I still haven't got to... Uh, the Rise of Skywalker, but I'm waiting for uh, a good Blu-ray release of that. X-Men 3D, Days of Future Past. Good. F I, li I like that film. I like that film. Silver Linings Playbook, again American football related. Gravity, I haven't even watched yet. This is again 3D. I can't get. You can't use 3D on my TV anymore. Uh, PlayStation games. Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead. Isn't Evil 2 and Spider-Man. Most of them are downloads now. There's a few cassettes down here, but mostly Bruce Springsteen, TV related, and comedy, and soundtracks. And the Star Trek sound, uh, Star Trek, Star Wars soundtrack, Lord of the Rings soundtrack, War of the Worlds, which I've also got on vinyl, uh, Beastie Boys, um, Queen. All sorts, TV, TV themes. I love my TV themes. Absolutely love them. Ghostbusters. Sopranos. The original Ghostbusters uh, soundtrack, which I do have. And get on vinyl. Uh, under the TV, we've got... Lots of uh, crap in there. But I've got my all my Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. I do need the last Hobbit DVD. These are the extended editions. I do need the last one to go in there, unfortunately. Uh, there's some more DVDs of the Star Wars trilogy. I've got I've got so many versions of that. It's unbelievable. Um, Force Awakens 3D boxed there can't get it in there Spaced the full collection good series Doctor Who to American Football Big Bang Theory yeah you were good Ace Ventura Die Hard one of my favourite films Pacific Rim Uprising I think I got that from Charity Shop It's a Wonderful Life the best ever Christmas movie. Uh, Blade Runner, Director's Cut, Top Gun, Ferris Bueller, and Beverly Hills Cop, great 80s movies. Battlestar Galactica, Frank Sidebottom, which I really need to watch because I can't, I must have got that years ago and it's still sealed and I've not, not got around to watching it. 
my name is Earl. What a series that was. Full Metal, metal Jacket. These are classics now. Full Metal Jacket, Italian Job, Citizen Kane, Cannonball Run, <laughs> Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Phone Jacker, Life on Mars, Series 1 and 2, Ashes to Ashes, Series 1. I need the rest of those. Uh, Jane Eyre, I like the Brontes. Beatles, David Bowie. The Omen. Oh, let's move it round. The Omen. 25th anniversary edition. I think I got that. Must have got that. Yep, 99p. <laughs> you see uh, a theme there, Zolo. Somebody said that that wouldn't get made now. So, I don't want to go into this very much because it's uh, perplexing me quite a bit. But that's history. That is history. That is a true story. That really happened. So we want to get rid of history. Duh, no, duh. I'm not going to go any further with that. Cal Pilkington, Idiot Abroad, 1, 2 and 3. I would like that that one that one there is with Warwick Davis. That is absolutely brilliant. Um, Mystery Science Theatre 3000. Now this is uh, Region 1 so I can't play it. But Mystery Science Theatre, you can get it on YouTube. Watch it, please. Watch it, it's absolutely hilarious. Back to the Future again. Another uh, four disc. This is a DVD version. The other one's Blu-ray. You can see I love, I love Back to the Future. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, Legion, About Time. Ghostbusters. Um, Breaking Bad, which I've not I've not watched. One Night in Turing, about the 1990 World Cup Finals. Absolutely brilliant. Damn United. Oh, I don't like Leeds, but that is that is one of the best films. Again, Pound and Manish, uh, Michael Sheen is absolutely fantastic as Brian Clough in that. Uh, Champions of Europe, Liverpool Champions of Europe 20. That's 2005 version. Uh, the full box set of Miami Vice, the best TV show ever, ever, ever created. I need to go through that again. Uh, it is on <laughs> Pop 2. I was actually watching that, then film that. Yes, I'm that old. Uh, Scooby-Doo meets Batman. <laughs> Kick-Ass. There you go, Indiana Jones bonus material. But it's not got... It's not got that original... Original... Uh, that was 99p. Thing on. Thing on. Documentary that I'm looking for. Porridge. Love porridge. And the theory of everything. It's got Eddie Redmayne, which I like as an actor. And it's got Felicity. Felicity Jones. She's absolutely gorgeous. Love her. Love her. Love her. And there's my American dad. Uh, I've got a few more. Top here as well. A few. Um, a bit more. A bit raised. JFK. Excellent movie. Airplane. I need to put that with the uh, other one's daughter, really. But I think I was leaving that just to uh, just because I need to watch it. But I need to put it with the uh, other ones, I suppose. Maybe check out the Moulin Rouge or the something about Mary. Put airplane in there. But I think I've left it on there because I'm going to watch it. And the uh, Sweeney because it's got Ailey Atwell in it. So I need to watch that too. <laughs> It's, I've just got so many things I need to watch. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little run through of my DVDs. And a bit longer than I thought it would do. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. If any that uh, I'm missing that you think I might like, let me know in the comments. And um, I'm going to be talking about my books next. So stay tuned. May the choice be with you.